What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today we're going to take you through how to test your flooded lead acid batteries for uh, for their health with a battery hydrometer like this which has a float in it that measures the health of the battery whether it needs to be recharged or it's good whatever and then it has a temperature compensation uh, thermometer at the bottom and I'm going to show you how to use this thing uh, before you do this, you need to disconnect uh, the, the batteries um, for several hours. I, I did mine overnight um, just because I've got my, my wiring still connected. I've got switches that turn everything off. So these have been disconnected from any load and also disconnected from any charging uh, from my solar panels or from your car or whatever you've got it. You need to have it disconnected so that it can, it can rest for a while to get an accurate reading. Also, you want to make sure that it's it's charged up to the best of your abilities before you do this test. So, you know, wait to do this after a nice sunny day or uh, after you've driven the car for a while or something like that so that uh, when you let it rest, um, when, you, when you use this hydrometer, you know, if you haven't charged up the battery in a while, it's probably going to be in the red area even if it's perfectly good because it it's not going to be topped off. So... Uh, make sure that you charge these up and then um, let them sit for a while and then we can do this test. Okay, so <clears throat> you start out, you know, you put the, uh, the bottom in the cell and you want to squeeze a couple times and draw liquid into it probably three times to make sure that you don't have any residue from, from the other batteries. So now we've got enough in there for this thing to float and uh, it's got a, a dial on the back you probably won't be able to see but there's numbers um, on here so you take a measurement this one says 1185 so then you just record that information like I'm doing here I'm going to do it for all four batteries and then um, you'll be able to take the temperature measurements and correct for those numbers and that will give you the condition of your batteries. Okay, here we have our results. Uh, the temperature correction, we need to subtract 16 from each of these values, which means not good news for me. My batteries are not in peak health. So, um, not sure what to do about that. I'm gonna try to charge them up again and, and retake the measurements, but this shows you the procedure and uh, you can do this for yourself this battery hydrometer I think I ordered it off of Amazon for 15 bucks really inexpensive tool to accurately check the the health of your batteries instead of just relying upon your gauge because this gauge says that they're in perfectly good health they're providing the right voltage but you know the voltage is only half the story you need to know how much juice you know how much amperage these things can produce and how long they're going to be able to last before they'll be discharged. Anyway, that's the procedure. Thanks for watching, guys.